some people spend their Saturdays going for it. Others going nowhere. Living on the edge or looking at a hedge. The members of the Dull Men's Club don't give the matter a second thought. I think it's a nice thing to be dull. It, it, I mean, the, the slogan of the club is celebrating the ordinary. I think it's quite trendy to be dull, uh, and we're, we're starting a bit of a cult movement, if you like, by being dull. Twelve members of the Dull Men's Club and their odd hobbies have been immortalised in the club's own calendar. The 2015 edition features, among others, Hugh Barker, the hedge watcher, and Steve Wheeler, the milk bottle collector. He's got close to 20,000, even though he doesn't especially like milk. There's a post box spotter and a man with the world's biggest collection of traffic cones. Kevin Beresford of Birmingham is Mr. January. The Lord of the Rings, as he's called, is president of the UK Roundabout Appreciation Society. There's nothing more expressive than the one-way gyratory. You can put anything on a roundabout, and I've seen fountains, statues, trains, boats, planes, pubs, churches, even working windmills. Uh, anything you like can go on a roundabout, and I think that's what makes them so special. Hugh Barker keeps abreast of hedges. Not the funds, but the shrubs. He's even written a book about them. Hedges are a surprisingly important part of our landscape. I'm partly interested in them for symbolic reasons and partly because of all the strange ways that people cut their hedges into funny shapes, what, how you cut your hedge says about you and things like that. So it's, a, it's a, bit of, a bit of the silly stuff and a bit of quite serious stuff that underlies it as well. The book earned Hugh Barker the epithet London's dullest man in the British media, but he has no problem with that. A lot of the things that people are interested in might seem very strange, and, but a lot of people have these quirky interests, and a lot of them are men, and I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think it's something to be proud of, not to be ashamed of. The calendar was the brainchild of Leland Carlson, an American who founded the Dull Men's Club 30 years ago in New York and later brought it to the UK. This is its first calendar, and it's already put the club in the spotlight. But the dull men often feel misunderstood. The news pick it up, they say the dullest men. We're not the dullest. I mean, that's kind of an extreme dull. We're just dull. Uh, we, we, some of us aren't trying to be the duller than anyone else. Celebrating the ordinary, just be content with ordinary simple things in life is a lot better than uh, going skydiving, for example. I, I think a lot of us would rather just take a nap. <laughs> the club estimates its worldwide membership at around 5,000. Newcomers are always welcome. The admission requirements are easy. The calendar includes a membership certificate. We were rather proud of this design, and it's a lovely two-tone gray with a touch of beige around the edge. Two of our favorite colors. Many Britons dream of their little slice of ho-hum, at least to judge by what London's calendar sellers have to say. We sell thousands of calendars a week, and we're, um, that's easily our best seller at the moment. It taps into the eccentricity of individuals, but I think English people like that sort of humour and looking at that. But we're really pleased so far, alongside the other calendars we've got, and there's similar titles on previous years that have done well, and I think this year this will be easily our number one. Leaving the humour aside, the dull men just may have hit a nerve, or soothed a nerve in an often fast-paced, high-stress world. As psychologist Mark Coulson sees it, the dull men and their anything but exciting interests have a certain contemplative, almost therapeutic appeal. There are some research findings that suggest if you have a limited set of interests, if you limit what it is that concerns you, then this simple life is actually a happy life. That in today's society we're just presented with too many choices, there are too many options. As a result, sometimes stepping outside of that frame and saying, well, what I'm going to be concerned about is what, what, what I find passion in. This may be a very direct route to happiness. Is this what happy men look like? The dull men don't go chasing after the latest fashion or thrill, but their unerring pursuit of their interests certainly brings a smile to other people's faces. 
why we're, we're the avant-garde movement. Uh, we, we push out the envelope. People might think we're dull, but in a way, we're, we're the opposite. We're, we're, we're uh, groundbreakers, if, if, if you like. So look forward to an even less exciting but highly coveted calendar next year.